Hello, I'm JW. Today we're going to have a look at these. Now uh, these two are both the same size, 25 square millimeter, single core, insulated and sheathed, and uh, commonly known as meter tails. Basically, what connects between your electricity meter and your consumer unit, and various other things in some other cases. Now. These uh, appear both the same, but there is an important difference between them. So we're going to have a quick look at that and see uh, which one would be preferable to actually buy. So here's our two uh, lengths of wire here. So both basically the same thing. These are 6181Y, which is a uh, single core there. In brown insulation in the case of these two, and then a grey outer sheath there. And so normally used to connect your consumer unit to the electricity meter in a domestic property. Other sizes are available for different locations. Now just spread out these strands at the end of these two. This is far longer than you would uh, strip them in normal use, but uh, we can see here that this one only has seven individual strands within, whereas this one has considerably more. There's actually 19 in this one. So these are actually thinner strands, but there's more of them. These are thicker and there's less of them. So in total, they both add up to 25 millimeters squared, which of course is uh, what you've actually paid for. So in terms of cost, there's no real difference between these two. This might be fractionally more or something, but it's going to be a very minor difference. But the point of the one with the 19 in is that when you come to actually bend it, it's much more flexible and easier to actually bend into shape compared to this thing, which although obviously does bend, it requires considerably more effort and it's rather more difficult. So it's really just a thing about installation and uh, how easy it is to use. But uh, so these 19 ones are, you can't really demonstrate it on video obviously, but in terms of bending it, the force required is considerably less and uh, therefore much easier to fit in there. The other difference is that when you come to fit this into a uh, isolator or some other piece of equipment, the end here is much easier to flatten out so it fits into what is normally a square or rectangular terminal. Because you've got a lot more strands there, it's much easier to shape in. Obviously you do it with pliers so it's a nice flattened off end compared to this thing which of course only has seven rather rigid strands. So just about easy installation. Cost-wise it's uh, pretty much the same. Now not all manufacturers actually do these uh, 19 ones but uh, those that do are certainly worthwhile uh, getting it from those. This one comes from Doncaster Cables, a uh, reputable uh, British manufacturer of cabling. This thing is some unbranded import style. So uh, there you go. So uh, that's basically it for those. Just a question of easy installation. Not really much in the cost difference, so uh, well worth getting those 19 strand ones rather than the more traditional 7 strand. So that's it for this video. Until next time, thanks for watching.